four clever riddles to tease your brain. Oh, like a brain teaser. <laughs> I get it. Now, are you someone who loves to crack tricky riddles? Then it's your lucky day! In this video, you'll find four puzzles that will help you amaze everyone with the power of your logic. You'll have 15 seconds after each riddle to figure out the answer. If you need more time, just pause the video. You'll have all the time in the world. Are you up to the challenge? Then let's start! Number 1. The End of the World That Wednesday, life in the big city was going on as usual. People were hurrying to work, taxis were stuck in traffic jams, and kids were heading for school. Without warning, a powerful blast of thunder shook the ground. Shocked people saw a surge of water flowing from the subway. Fire and earthquakes made people seek shelter. The electricity suddenly went off, leaving nothing but panic and despair. That's how the end of the world started. Eric was terrified and trapped. Some doors were locked, and danger was lurking behind others. The young man had just one minute to choose between four doors. If he picked the correct one, he'd have a chance to get inside a shelter and survive. But behind the first door was a stone blockage that appeared after the earthquake. The second door hit a raging fire. Behind the third door was electric power saws. And the fourth door was holding back a flood. Which door did Eric have to choose to stay alive? Do you like disaster movies? Then you should know how the main characters managed to survive. You have only 15 seconds to help Eric. Have you figured out the solution? Door number 3 is the right answer. Did you remember that the electricity went off in the first minutes of the emergency? This is why the electric saws wouldn't harm Eric. If he chose the third door, he would have every chance of surviving the end of the world. Number 2. A murder on a Friday evening. Mark, the owner of a big house and a successful business, was found dead on a rainy Friday evening. The police stated that it was a murder. Despite being a rich and respectful man, Mark wasn't friendly or polite. He often mistreated people, so there were some who might wish him dead. On that tragic Friday, there were just three people in the house. A cook, a gardener, and a butler. It's no wonder that they became the prime suspects. When the police were questioning these people, they heard the following stories. At the time when the businessman was killed, the cook was in the kitchen preparing Mark's favorite pasta and salad. The gardener was outside watering the plants in the huge garden. As for the butler, he stated that he had been setting the table for dinner. Even though everyone inside the house had solid alibis, the police immediately arrested the murderer. Who was it? You have 15 seconds to solve this mystery and punish the criminal. If you were wondering why the gardener had to water the plants on a rainy day, you were absolutely right. That's because he wasn't in the garden. He was killing his employer. Number 3. A Killer Clown Mystery There was a clown who worked only a few hours a day. But a colleague asked the clown to step in for him. The clown was helpful and friendly, so he agreed to help his colleague out. This turned out to be a bad decision, because the clown had to deal with 50 shouting, screaming, energetic kids. When the clown returned home late at night, he had only enough strength to switch off all the lights and fall into bed. He never woke up during the night, and he did not sleepwalk. However, when he woke up, he found out that he had killed 666 people. He was terrified. How did he kill all those people? Oh my! These scary movies about clowns don't lie. 
But can you figure out how a person can commit such a terrible crime without waking up? 15 seconds to reach your conclusion. The explanation is that the clown lived in a lighthouse. That's why he had just a couple of hours a day to work as a clown. That night, he was so exhausted that he switched off all the lights in the house. This caused the boats at sea to crash, which resulted in the deaths of 666 people. Number 4. A murder in a locked room. Mr. Jones was found dead in his room in a pool of blood. However, there was no window in his room, and the door was locked from the inside. The police knew that Sherlock Holmes loved such mysteries, so they immediately called the detective. When he arrived, he examined the crime scene and questioned the four people who had a key to the room. Sophie, the maid, said that she had come to wake Mr. Jones at 7 a.m. as usual. When she saw him dead, she had started to scream. John, the butler, stated that when he heard someone's screams, he had rushed upstairs, turned on the light, and had seen Mr. Jones with a knife in the side of his neck. Hannah, the governess, explained that she had hurried to the room along with John. When John turned on the light, the first thing she had noticed was that the room was all bloody. As for Jack, the cook, he said that he had been preparing breakfast at that time and hadn't seen anything. Sherlock immediately understood who the criminal was. Will 15 seconds be enough for you to figure it out? Well, the murderer is Sophie. John and Hannah stated that the room had been dark, which is why John had to switch on the light. Sophie already knew that he was dead, which is why she did not need to turn the light on. How many riddles did you manage to crack? Which one did you find the hardest? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.